well, some of the comments, a lot of people seem to be disappointed. When you guys came together, there, was, there seems to be some uh, as, kind of as, joy in the minds of a whole lot of people thinking, if these guys can come together, maybe they, they can come and fight as a bloc against the traditional it, it, political it, it, parties it on the mean, ground. No, no, Shion, it doesn't mean that we still cannot fight. It doesn't mean that we still cannot come together. In fact, after that decision, some of the prime movers of the project, you know, uh, they had called me to say, okay, whereas you were not there and all of that, we can still do this thing, even if we made mistakes. Even though I would say that the mistakes was unnecessary. For example, I mean, some of us felt you were, you were stampeding us into a certain thing which we felt that shouldn't be the case. But however, it needs to be said also that the Nigerians that we're talking about, especially the Nigerian young people, they, they need to understand that what is on ground now... Um, will be a lot more than Twitter comments or Facebook comments and, you know, just generally getting involved. Uh, you, we need to put in a lot more effort in this project than just expecting that, look, part of the problem was the Nigerian populace, especially the young people in Nigeria, were, were, were demanding for results immediately. They were, just, where is it? You guys should go and meet now. Who's the person? We want to know. Give us one person. And, you know, you, probably, if, you, if you probably did a big data search on the internet, you probably have seen that comment maybe more than 100 million times. Give us one person. And perhaps that was what was driving the guys who were pushing this agenda uh, to quickly go and decide on one person very quickly. We didn't need to give one person well, immediately. Let me say that uh, quickly, the most important thing you. would be that we needed to be dumping our best ideas in the space. And we needed to be debating. Because, look, it's not, it's not, it's not a Big Brother contest. It's not uh, a, 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 a reality show or some entertainment thing. It was the young people of this country and the people of Nigeria also have been asking us, what do you guys have to offer? And, you know, come and show us. Come and show us the debate. Do and you think there needs to be that, that a coalition of the alternatives absolutely. or the thought first? Oh, absolutely. I believe there should be. You understand? But the process has to be strategic. If you are not, look, if you are in politics in the first place, if you are not a strategic person, you are lost. You don't have a business in politics. It has to be a strategy. You have to say, you don't rush into it. Your you party, know, for you example, don't, you don't, you is not part of the, uh, uh, the coalition, the COP. Again, you, 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 you your, heard... Your, your uh, party wasn't just, part of Just it. before this show, I was watching channels and I heard some of what the chairman of ADP was saying about the COP. <laughs> you understand? So you have, to, you have to go there with your eyes clearly open. The CUPP, we, we, my party was not going to be part of it. I mean, I threw it open. They, they invited us. They invited through me as the chairman of the party. Of course, the way we do things in our party, NRP, we're very plain, we're very open. We're very... So I took it back to our ESCO. I said, oh, this, party, this CU people is inviting us. PDP, the moment they heard that PDP was there, they said, ah, no, 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 we don't want to have... And that's the complaint that the chairman of ADP was giving today. You understand? So, so we're still hoping for a coalition of a, maybe younger parties who are thinking and, like and, 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 and similar since, ideologies. Since your strategy, we'll be, we'll be, we'll yeah, we'll and we'll I will ask you yeah. pointedly, there is the APC and there is the PDP. For now, these are the two parties that hold Nigeria's political structure Ill illegally, largely. Illegally speaking. What actually. do you mean by illegal? Illegally. As a matter of fact, you know, I've been telling you, you know, that my party, the ANRP, were actually we started, started a, a legal process, a court case, uh, that will lead to the deregistration of these two criminal enterprises, SPV, Special Purpose Vehicle, for the illegal access to the wealth of Nigeria. Because the way they have played their politics over time and the confessions of some of their top people, including people like the former Deputy, Deputy Senate President, Ibrahim Mantu, they have confessed on TV, on live TV, including channels, how they have been stealing the wealth of this country and using it to power their party. In 1984, Buhari jailed the general, Buhari then, jailed people like Bisi Onobanjo, like uh, Apa Aku, like uh, Ambrose Ali, for one single reason. He said they were using their state funds, which is the taxpayer's money, mind you, to sponsor their party. In 2018, it seems that it doesn't matter. So we're saying that they should take their license. We're suing all of them, and the process, the process is on right now. Apart from that, the Section 124, Section 130 of the electoral law, okay, has been breached consistently and perennially okay, uh, by using money to bribe voters, whether during, before, during, or after every vote. And we're saying that, look, so people should not rest on their hours. By the time we torpedo these two parties, people will know that they need to go and think and look for new but, parties. But, but reality, and come but, back but to reality it. stares it, in the face, it, it, Mr. Yes. Fasua. The reality is that this party is before you can defeat them, you need to have a, a watertight strategy. Uh, Absolutely. And, uh, in, 20, Absolutely. in 2019, it's, 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 it's if, for example, be, the kind of... Just a moment. Just a 
just Stalin, a moment, yeah. the candidate or the aspirant that we're seeing in the PDP, a host of them, and the, 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 the possible candidate of the APC, do you think you people, the new, the alternatives, the new political parties, have such a formidable candidate or aspirant or candidates that can fight these guys at the 2019 polls? Well, I believe so. I believe so. Uh, you know, Sharon, when you want to win a race, the first thing is you step out. Strategically, we're talking strategy here. So the first thing is if you want to win a race, you have to step out on the mark, all right? If you can't, if, nobody will come and give you the glory or the trophy in your house. No, it won't happen. So you step out and say, you can do this. And you know what? 2019 is going to be a different kind of, it's going to be a very queer kind of year. Uh, there are some things that are called unknown unknowns. Some unknown unknowns will happen, and some of those people who think they are standing are going to be torpedoed. You, you, uh, Mr. Fosfa, this is not the first time we are saying yeah, all right, so, the new, new political parties, again, it, it, new, it, new people in politics, people from the outside coming into the presidential race. Yeah. Uh, they, they, in 2019, as we close, do you think that the race will be Sheldon, the same or the same? Sheldon, Sheldon, this is the first time someone is telling you that they are suing for these two parties to be deregistered and delicensed for being criminal enterprises. This is the first time. We are... ANRP is a kind of party that we do things, we're pioneers. Actually, when we started our registration in 2016, they didn't give us a chance, including INEC. They didn't give us a chance, but we, we, we stuck in it. it. It took us one year to get it. But we, we are pioneers in that regard. Now, right. No Nigerian youth was even thinking about getting involved at that time. So, uh, look, don't rest on your All hours. Right. And they too shouldn't rest on their hours because we have come. And we're actually coming to get them. And by 2019 and going forward, Nigeria will never remain the same again. Positively. Mr. Mr. At some point, we'll see bring you again. You, you, I like to talk strategy I, or to I, talk I, about your ambition or your political party and the 2019 race. Thank you so much, Mr. So Fasua, uh, national chairman of the you. ANRP and also God a presidential bless. aspirant. Up next on the program, President Buhari says that he is not afraid of free and fair elections. From his incredible polls in 2019, we will be dissecting these and many more after this break, everyone. Join us again.